something beautiful? Last night was amazing. I didn't think we actually did anything and just cut to the next morning. What? Just get back here. OK. Good morning, beautiful. Last night was amazing. Natalie, I love you. Hey, welcome back to Bandbited Fans. This is Jeff, and tonight I'm going to be talking about Isn't It Romantic? And before I get going about the movie, I just want to invite everybody to go to subscribe to the channel. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button as well. Leave your comments below, good, bad, indifferent. I, I appreciate all the feedback. I uh, recently got a comment saying that I'm not a natural on camera, and that, and yeah, I'm not a natural on camera. So um, I. I appreciate that. I pre appreciate that constructive criticism, and it's going to help me kind of grow as as I as I develop this channel and as I develop my skills in front of a camera. So, with all that said, uh, go ahead and enjoy some highlights from the trailer. Every day is payday. Swipe my card. Then what are we talking about? Natalie is saying that romantic comedies are bad. All those movies are lies. They're terrible pop songs. I think people would have an easier time seeing you if you were a little more open. Hey, I'm Jack. Natalie. Give me the purse! Why does this shit always happen to me? Where am I? You're in the emergency room. This isn't an emergency room. This is a Williams Sonoma. Make them away downtown. It looks like somebody's put a beauty filter across New York City. 911, what's your emergency? Someone's broken into my apartment and they've taken everything and replaced it all with much nicer stuff. So your emergency is that your apartment is too big and you have every shoe you could ever want. Yeah, exactly. That's what I I am. I think I might be going crazy. I hit my head really hard and I woke up in this alternate universe. And now I have a gay sidekick who's setting gay rides back like a hundred years. I love working the legs. Jesus! And guys look at me in the eyes. You're quite beguiling, aren't you? Are you feeling what I'm feeling? No! Oh my God. I think I'm trapped in a My life's become a mother romantic comedy. All right, so this is Isn't It Romantic, starring Rebel Wilson with uh, Adam Devine and Liam Hemsworth, and also, let's see if I got her name right, Priyanka Chopra. So I'm um, going to full disclosure, I was absolutely ready to hate this movie going into it, and primarily because, you know, it looked very, very similar to last year's Amy Schumer movie, I Feel Pretty. Now, after watching the movie, um, I was pleasantly surprised. It's it's a uh, it's. I think the comparisons to I Feel Pretty are valid, but it's a much better version of that movie. At least it's more charming, and the the comedy hit a little bit more often than it did with with Amy Schumer's movie. Another movie that it, that has some similarities to would be uh, Shallow How, and basically uh, Rebel Wilson is uh, a comedic actress. She um, she's she plus size. Uh, and that figures prominently into the theme of this movie. So much like I Feel Pretty, you have uh, you have an actress who's uh, so, you know somewhat overweight. It's, even even trying to talk about it, kind of get tripped over it because uh, trying not to be offensive. But but it's front and center in in the context of this movie. So that's why I'm that's why I'm talking about it. Uh, but at, so as this as this woman, she feels. She, her character is um, kind of tarnished, not tarnished by society, but dismissed by society, invisible to society, and it feels like she doesn't, because she's overweight, she is not worthy of being loved or having a, or having a significant relationship. And because of she doesn't feel like she's worthy, she has a hatred for romantic comedies until she hits her head and then wakes up from the hospital and is now her entire world is a romantic comedy complete with all the tropes that you would see in it the um every street is wonderful everybody the you know she gets hit by a car by a billionaire played by Liam Hemsworth who immediately falls in love with her and she has to go through <laughs> there's one funny bit where every time she tries to swear something kind of something naturally beeps her out and then that was actually kind of funny 
So she has to keep she has to live through this romantic comedy until she learns a valuable life lesson. And um, basically, the life lesson of this, and it's probably the life lesson of every one of these movies, is she has to learn to love herself and have confidence in herself before she can really develop a relationship with somebody else. So, um, like I said, the similarities to I Feel Pretty are pretty strong. However, this is, Rebel Wilson is really, really charming and, re and her performance really carried this movie, made the whole movie actually a lot more enjoyable than I, what I, than I was expecting it to be. And the supporting cast did well the the jokes hit pretty pretty often and after a while about 20 30 minutes in the movie really won me over i still have issues with it which are, which i'll get to um in a minute but overall this movie was incredibly funny it was it was enjoyable much more so than other movies like it and i recommend seeing it in the theater um try to go early so that there's actually kind of a crowd there because uh, pe pe people were people were cracking up watching this and other than the, the only the only scene that for me was too much was the very last scene of the movie where it's just like all right now you're beating you're beating this joke to death but uh, overall really enjoyable movie enjoyed it um but let's get into some of the issues i had number one so this is this is billed as the anti-rom-com. However, it reinforces every trope that rom romantic comedies have. So I won't, I won't get into spoilers, but it's it's as formulaic as romantic comedy as any other romantic comedy has been. So calling it anti-rom-com is not is kind of disingenuous. It is just a rom-com with a little bit of a deconstructive bent to it. Um, it would be, it would actually be refreshing to see a movie that took, so Rebel Wilson is an actress that is wildly successful. Obviously she's starring and she's starring in, in major Hollywood movies. She has an incredibly successful career, but Hollywood has this perception that people that are overweight or people that are dorky or people that, that don't, don't have, you know, perfectly unblemished faces can't find love. And in the real world, that's just not true. People, non-Hollywood people find love and have romantic lives all the time. So it'd be nice if a movie just, if a movie really wanted to be anti-rom-com, it would just be a romantic comedy with normal people. And that would actually be kind of daring, but uh, I don't see that coming out anytime soon or actually leave in the comments if you know of any movies that would fit that bill. Um, so, so because, because it's, it has this perception that, you know, Hollywood is saying somebody like Rebel Wilson wouldn't, isn't able to find love when she does find love, it's only, it's still reinforcing the typical Hollywood stereotype that she can only find love with somebody as unworthy as she is. And I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time kind of tiptoeing around, around some of these topics because these aren't necessarily the things that I believe, but things that, but I'm, things that Hollywood through movies like this reinforce. So I apologize, I apologize if, if uh, apologize if I'm not entirely clear on what I'm saying. I'll, I'll try, I'll, I'll try here to straighten that up. Um, so Adam Devine, Adam Devine is kind of a chubby, dorky person, and Rebel Wilson is somebody who, who doesn't have the typical Hollywood glamour lifestyle, so obviously they're meant for each other, and the really pretty people, they're meant for themselves, they're, they're meant for each other, and never the twain shall meet. And this movie doesn't do anything to dispel that notion, so, um, so that's, that's kind of, it would be nice. Even while it's trying to challenge these assumptions, it ends up reinforcing them. And that's ultimately the biggest issue I have, with, whether it's this movie, Shallow Howl, I Feel Pretty, they all fall into the same kind of trap. However, like I said in the beginning, this is the best version of those movies, mainly because of just how charming Rebel Wilson is. So that's pretty much it. It's worth watching. Um, 
but I really hope that we start getting better versions of this kind of this particular trope. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Jeff. Go ahead and check out Isn't It Romantic? And then when you do, go ahead and leave the comments below so tell me what you think of it. And get on the bandwagon.